Hello everyone, welcome back to Bit Report. So in this video of uh, debugging skills, this is the next uh, lecture. So in previous video, you may have seen uh, what is debug and how we can debug, how we can use the resume button to go to the next debugger point. What is a debug? So in short, uh, a debug point is nothing but a point at which we wanted the program to stop execution and we can analyze the input uh, like when we can analyze the variables up to there so how can we add a debug point so for that we can go to any lines of code and just we can double click if we wanted to add a debug point at line number 20 so we have two options one uh, we can just double click here or we can just right click and then click on toggle break so you can see there is a uh, dot appeared here and uh, this is what we call it as breakpoint this is what we call it as break. Also, we uh, in the last video we have seen what we, uh, how we can execute it. So to start a Java program, you will have to uh, click on this debug, or you can just right click and then do debug as Java application. So once you do that, uh, one more thing, uh, it is asking to confirm perspective switch. So if you want, you can keep uh, in the same perspective, but it's better to switch to the uh, debug perspective so it will change the view in the left side you will see the debugger options in the right side you can see the variables and other sections so just click on switch so once i click on switch you can see this view is changed now and now i am able to see debug options in the left side in the right side variables points expressions are available so similarly in the bottom i can see these values are available console problems and debug sets. so now my program stops it here because we have added a uh, breakpoint here. Similarly, if I now I resume it, so where will I pro where will my program go? We, my program will go and execute up to line number nineteen, and it will stop at line number twenty. So let me click on it, and you can see it stopped at line number twenty because my next breakpoint was set at line number twenty. So if I would have added a breakpoint at sixteen, it would have going from 16 to uh, 14 to 16 and then stopped execution similarly this line number 20 is now uh, not yet executed it's executed up to line number 19 so we can see the current output here so the current value of a is 2 now current value of b is 4 now current value of c is 16 now 12 now so we can see the values here similarly we we can go to the breakpoint sections and here from here, we can see what are all the lines where breakpoints are added. So uh, we can see 14, 20 uh, uh, lines we have added the breakpoint. Similarly, the same breakpoint are showing here. We can enable or disable a breakpoint. Suppose we wanted to disable breakpoint line number 24 or uh, 20. We can just select it here and this breakpoint got disabled. So if I uh, next time if I run it, this breakpoint will not work. Suppose net, now I am running it. So it stopped at 14. And now if I resume, it is went away. So it is only one breakpoint enabled. Similarly, uh, we can uh, enable disable from double clicking. So it is same thing. Now the next uh, thing comes as expression. What is expression? So let me uh, execute it again. Now up to here, the program is executed. So till now line number 14 is not executed and line number one two three is executed now we want some expressions to know the value we are doing some uh, logic change and we have wanted to uh, add some a uh, variable also suppose i wanted the expression as a so what it will do is uh, whatever the uh, variable name is a it will show the output but i i don't know i i wanted uh i am doing some calculation i wanted the value of a plus b at some point so you can directly add a plus b and it will show you the expression value so this is how the expression works you can add multiple expressions suppose you wanted a square a into a so you can add a into a and you will show the value similarly if you wanted to print uh, some a into a plus b into b plus c into c so this should be the, our actual result 14 which is expected so in that way we can see the expression result and uh, whenever we execute the next time it will automatically show you the expression at that current value a uh, current position Current position, what is the value of A? Current position, what is the value of B? And this updates the value as per the current value of A and B and C. 
so okay so variables cleared a breakpoint cleared and expressions cleared variables just the variable value it's showing breakpoints the breakpoint at which you line uh, at which line you have a stop the program expressions it is like a normal expression which you can add here to know the value of the current expression okay so this helps in debugging also okay so now come to the next point what are all these buttons see so if you if you uh, scroll up if you scroll up you can see there are multiple options here appeared first is resume second is suspend third is terminate if you click on terminate it will close all the program suspend will suspend the you know, like debugging option uh, disconnect leave it we have next option step into what is this step into so you can see right now we have added breakpoint at 20 and 40 but what if uh, let me uh, run it uh, like let me resume it for now and i will start the uh, debugging again so you can see for at 14 uh, the uh, like program is stopped but what if now i wanted to go to 16 so we uh, but 16 at 16 i have not added any break so we have another options to step over step over what it will do it will go to the next line so you can click on a step over and you can see it, it went to the next line even if the breakpoint is not uh, added so whatever is the next line execution it will go to the next line. step over you can see this step over is used to go to the next line of code so if i click again it went to here similarly if i click again it goes to next line now you can see the next line also 22 it's not uh, the code is not there uh, like breakpoint is not there but still i can go there if i click resume it will uh, exit the code and show the output because there is no breakpoint but if i click next line it will go to the next line and show me the results up to here up to here so up to here i can see the variables value their result and 18 so 18 it will print so now let me resume it so 18 it is printing okay so i hope it is clear now now i am going to actually debug this to find the actual uh, like uh, actual problem in this uh, example why the result is not current uh, coming correct it's showing 80 but what should be the one square plus two square plus three string that is what we are expecting so we are expecting one square plus two square plus three square so it should be one plus four plus no so it should be 14 but we are not getting the actual result we are getting 18 so where is the problem now again uh, how the actual debugging happens so that i will show so to remove confusion let me add some other variables also square of a square of b square of c now let's see change it to square of a square of b square of c and now here i am adding a square of a square of b and square of c now it will be easy for us to debug so i am restarting it let me resume it and I will restart. <clears throat> okay, so I have restarted. Now, if I go to the next line, I am seeing square of a is 2, but our a value is 1. So that means something is wrong here. Something is wrong here because our a was 1 here, but I am uh, getting a square of a is 2. That means I have done something wrong calculation here. That means a into b should not be there it should be a into a so i will just correct similarly one of our execution corrected now i'm going to resume it and restart now if i go to the next uh, line so step over and now if i see a square of a is one that is fine a value is one square of a is one that is fine now if i go to the next line b value is 2 and the square of b should be 4 that is 4 that is correct similarly you can see the same thing here p value is 2 square b of 
two four that is also correct now let's go to the next line and here i am seeing c value is three so you can see c is three but the square of c is six so something is wrong here we have not done correct uh, calculation so c should be c into c but uh, by mistake we have written c into b that's why it is not giving a correct answer so we detected our second issue so it should be c into c so now we detected our issue and let me terminate it and then restart so we restarted now let's go again so if i go to the uh, resume button it's directly come from here to here because we don't have any breakpoint in the middle so now if we see a square of a is one square of b is two uh, sorry four square of c that is three square is nine so we can see all the squares value is correct now and similarly if all the squares value is correct now the result should be correct so if i go to next line the result is also correct and we debug this program very successfully so we can see the result is 14 which is as expected as we know so this is fine so this is how we debugged it now in the next video we will see how you can debug some complex uh, program which is having some method calls okay so that's all for today and thank you for watching this video uh, if you are liking this content if you are liking this uh, like uh, video lectures please share this content with your friends and please comment it out if you want something uh, to be added here please comment it out and thank you for watching this video thank you